Welcome to Fair Plus 2025 in Shenzhen, one of the largest robotics and technology exhibitions in the world. Over 180 companies gathered here to showcase robots designed to assist, entertain, and explore. From humanoids with lifelike expressions to robots capable of navigating crowds, lifting objects, and interacting with humans in real time. Shenzhen has become a true tech hub, and this event offers a unique look at how robotics is already transforming our daily lives and shaping the future ahead. Humanoids from DX Technology are robots with basic animation and limited functionality. They do not perceive their surroundings but actively use simple facial expressions and gestures to attract attention. One such robot is presented in a high-tech style. It can move and sing. These robots are targeted for entertainment events and trade shows where visual appeal is essential. Despite limited artificial intelligence, they support basic interaction with visitors through voice commands. Such robots can be used as promoters or guides at large-scale events. Their lightweight design allows for easy transportation and setup. DX Technology is exploring upgrades to integrate simple task automation for future models. These robots also serve as platforms for experimenting with artificial intelligence-driven social interactions. Digit Technology unveiled the hyper-realistic humanoid robot Zalin S01. It can move under teleoperation, demonstrates a set of pre-programmed movements, can grasp simple objects, and use them for navigation. The key feature is its facial expressions. The robot can recognize speech, maintain eye contact, and remember topics of previous conversations. At the exhibition, communication was conducted via a remote voice interface. The robot is equipped with highly sensitive sensors, allowing it to adapt to various surfaces and avoid obstacles. In the future, developers plan to integrate modules for more complex emotions and adaptive learning. Zalin S01 could become the foundation for next-generation service and educational robots. Its lifelike appearance and responsiveness aim to reduce the barrier between humans and machines, making interactions more natural. Advanced algorithms also enable it to interpret subtle emotional cues from users, enhancing social engagement. Roboterra showcased robotic arms with tactile surfaces. The XH1 model has 12 degrees of freedom and can handle both fragile and heavy objects weighing up to 25 kilograms. The main focus is on manipulators, despite the company being famous for running robots and its great wall walking robot. The tactile surfaces provide haptic feedback, enhancing precision and safety when handling objects. These manipulators can be used in manufacturing, medicine, and warehouse logistics. Roboterra actively develops grasping technologies for humanoid and industrial robots. Their research aims to improve human-robot collaboration in delicate operations. The company is also experimenting with artificial intelligence algorithms to enable adaptive grip strength based on object fragility. Roboterra's technologies are gaining interest in automation sectors requiring precision handling. Engine AI Robotics Introduce the humanoid robot PX5 and the research platform SA01 priced at US$5,400. In 2024, the full-size SE01 and the next model PM01, known from videos showing dances and somersaults, were released. Engine AI robots are equipped with cameras, can run at speeds up to 2 meters per second, move, wave their arms, and interact with the environment. They feature advanced computer vision algorithms enabling efficient spatial orientation. The company focuses on educational and entertainment applications and collaborates with universities to test new functions. Thanks to their affordable price, engine AI models have become popular among startups and research groups. Their modular design allows users to customize hardware and software for specific research needs. Continuous firmware updates improve robot agility and communication skills. The Tron 1 robot by Limex Dynamics can move over rough terrain, climb stairs, and overcome obstacles. The maximum climbing angle is 15 degrees, with obstacle height up to 15 centimeters. It weighs 20 kilograms and has an autonomy of 2 hours. Control is possible both manually and autonomously. The robot is equipped with a stabilization system and terrain sensors ensuring safe movement. 
It is planned for use in rescue operations and inspections at construction sites. Tron 1 can transmit live video feed, expanding remote control capabilities. Its compact size allows it to enter confined spaces inaccessible to larger robots. The robot software supports adaptive gate control to optimize energy use on various terrains. Tencent introduced the fifth generation of robots designed to assist the elderly. The F model features a quadruped design, sensory skin, multi-fingered manipulators, and a system for safe human interaction. The robot can move both on legs and wheels, depending on conditions. Its tasks include assisting with daily chores and ensuring the safety of elderly users. Functions include health monitoring via built-in sensors and the ability to call for emergency help. The robot can also detect falls and maintain simple communication, helping to combat loneliness among the elderly. Tencent actively collaborates with medical institutions to integrate robots into home care systems. Its modular design allows easy upgrades for different care scenarios. Enhanced artificial intelligence capabilities enable the robot to recognize mood changes and adjust its behavior accordingly. The robot is designed to learn from user habits, providing personalized assistance over time. At the Jinsan Intelligent booth, humanoid robots with artificial skin were showcased. They lack intelligence but demonstrate tactile realism. Touch panels embedded in the chest allow playback of pre-recorded phrases. Then technology presented male versions with movable facial expressions, built-in screens instead of eyes, and customizable faces. Despite their limited functionality, such robots attract public interest. Their main purpose is to showcase new technologies in artificial skin and emotion display. Additionally, these androids can be used in entertainment and marketing industries to draw attention to brands. The continued development of synthetic skin materials promises to improve realism and durability. Both companies emphasize modularity, allowing quick updates to hardware and software for various applications. These androids serve as a testing ground for future interactive social robots. Honda gave attendees a try of its Uni1 electric mobility unit, which is used hands-free for individual movement. The device responds to subtle shifts in posture, offering intuitive control. Users compared it to a floating chair. Thanks to its comfort, its sleek design also turned heads, making it both practical and futuristic. A built-in gyroscope helps the unit adapt to uneven terrain. Honda's engineers hinted at future updates, including gesture-based navigation. One of the most popular booths was the Robo Cafe, where visitors could order coffee from an automated barista. This format allows quick return on investment for exhibition participation. Barista robots are equipped with sensors for precise ingredient dosing and can prepare more than 20 types of coffee beverages. Control is available via mobile application or touchscreen, reducing queues and increasing throughput. Such robots are especially relevant for airports and large shopping malls. The efficiency of robotic baristas is driving interest from hospitality chains worldwide. Additionally, these robots can integrate with loyalty programs and personalized preferences, enhancing customer experience. Pudu introduced another hybrid robot, the Flashbot Arm, expanding on delivery robot types. It's said to think, act, and react instantly. It handles elevators, can pick up and move things, and talk naturally. Its arms each have seven motion points with a two-meter reach. It builds three-dimensional maps, plans trips, and evades objects, now a basic feature. However, it also reads nonverbal cues, gestures, and expressions, aiding its task-solving abilities. Yet, don't expect too much. Its use remains quite task-specific. Its design emphasizes functionality over looks, with rugged limbs and visible sensors. Early feedback praises its reliability in hospital settings. Future firmware may allow plug-and-play tools to expand what the robot can do. Flashbot Arm also runs on swappable battery modules for non-stop shifts. Developers mentioned plans to train it on sign language for deaf user interaction. This humanoid robot by Leju Robotics designed for teleoperation. The robot reacts to human gestures, wave at it, and it's expected to recognize the movement and respond in kind. In the head unit, a built-in LiDAR and camera system handles navigation and environment detection. The legs are fully integrated into the body, forming a compact and durable lower frame. 
also located, there are the emergency stop switch, the power button, and a modular port for additional hardware. Leju Robotics positions this model for use in factory environments, including automotive production, logistics operations, and construction support. With a rugged design and sensor-equipped limbs, the robot aims to take on physically demanding tasks. The company is betting on its mobility and adaptability as key advantages. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment with your thoughts on these innovations on exhibition. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting tech updates. See you soon.